out. It's past your bedtime. Dad, I'm too old for a bedtime. Steve, how many times have I told you if children get less than eight hours of sleep, their boy glands emit a pleasant berry scent that attracts pedophiles? I'm not a kid. You don't have to tell me lies anymore. And I don't need this stupid childproof lock on the Internet. Every time I try to access a site, I get this. What kind of filth are you trying to look up, anyway? I'm doing a report on George Washington Carver for Black History Month. Carver? The peanut butter guy? Come on, Steve, why don't you pick an interesting black person, like Dr. Daniel Williams, who performed the first successful open-heart surgery, or Tim Meadows, the luckiest man in show business. Dad, I think I'm old enough to decide who to do my report on. I guess I'm going to have to start treating you like an adult. Now, don't forget to brush your teeth, or goblins will kill your mother. <sighs> Why do you need to go to a grocery store to research this Carver guy? To know the man, I must taste the man. That's weird. Hand me a magnifying glass. Which one? 5X. Look at the belt buckle on the Robin Hood peanut butter label. It's the same symbol as the dot over the I in Jiffy. It's even on Union Brand, America's first peanut butter. Where? In President Peanut's monocle. <laughs> That's just his eye. Look closer. Curiouser and curiouser. We've got to get to the bottom of this mystery. Count me out. I gave up sleuthing when the case of the missing bike horn turned into a double rape homicide. I need some more time for my report on George Washington Carver. Why? The brother invented peanut butter. Stretch it over five pages and hand it in. It's deeper than that, sir. Look, every jar of peanut butter has this same symbol on it. I think there might be some kind of... Conspiracy. That's ridiculous. Turn in your paper or face the consequences. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to follow this through, even if it means I have to talk to the creepy librarian with the burned ear. Yes? I'm afraid we've got some chocolate in our peanut butter. Hello, are you the curator of the Smithsonian Peanut Museum in Washington, D.C.? Who wants to know? Steve Smith. I'm doing a report on George Washington Carver, and I have some questions about a weird symbol I found on peanut butter jars. It's probably nothing, but... No! I it's like this huge, huge thing! It's time the truth came out. Come see me at 3 o'clock. And be careful. They're watching you. Don't worry. I wasn't trying to kill you. I'm just a drunk driver. Well, what's going on? I, I have an appointment with the curator. The curator was murdered. Oh, my God. Someone killed him? Funny. I never said he was murdered. Yes. Yes, you, yes, you did. God, he's wedged into the mouth of a giant bust of George Washington Carver. That's classified. How'd you know that? I can see it from here. Okay, that checks out. Why would the killer stick the curator to the roof of the statue's mouth? <gasps> like peanut butter. You don't get it, kid. He did it to himself. He was stabbed and left for dead. He managed to climb up there right after he scrawled a dying message in his own blood. In the elf condom. What does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means we're looking for a horny midget that plays it safe. Come on, boys! In the elf condom. Wait! That's an anagram for find the monocle! My selective dyslexia disorder finally pays off! Find the monocle. Let's see, mono means one, and coal is a type of slaw. I'm looking for one slaw. Oh, oh, I can't think with that clock ticking. <gasps> the symbol! This is the monocle! Hey, what are you doing in here? Nothing! Mmm, sweet berries. Hey, champ. Get enough sleep last night? 